Hey guys, this is Annie with Annie's RBGs on Twitch. How's everyone doing? Today, I'm going to talk to you about optimizing your character. It's true that players can outplay others even if they're slightly behind on gear, but why make it harder for yourself? When you're climbing and learning the game, you want to take every inch you can to improve your character and increase your chance of winning. So these are the things that are important for optimizing your character for RBGs, and that are that is the stats, enchants, legendaries, talents, and PvP talents. So when you come up here to the vendor and you're looking at all the gear, not all these pieces are good for your spec. Like this has haste and this one has crit. So which one do I need to pick? You know, that really depends on what spec you're playing and what you need more stats of. And a good place to find out what your best PvP stats are are going to be your class discords. Most of the class discords are going to have a PvP section where they talk about stats, they talk about talents and things like that. But we're going to get to the talents and things in just a second. <clears throat> so when you're trying to think of a good place to go look up these things outside the class discords, you have a couple options here. So your first option here is going to be arenamate.net and what this allows you to do is you can come here and you can choose US or U or both and I choose RBGs and then say I want to look up DK so I click on DK and I look it up okay I can see the stats of how many DKs there are okay I can even say how many DKs are above 2400 so I go okay there's 114 DK is about 2400. The majority of them are Frost, 85%. So Frost is probably the strongest spec right now for RBGs for playing DK. So I want to find out more about my DK class. So I go, okay, I'm going to play Frost. So I'm going to ignore this guy. I'm going to click on this guy. I'm going to click on this guy and this guy and this guy. And say I want to get some extras in there. So I pull up four to five people because you want to keep a nice census and then what I would do is I would click right here and it pulls up their armory <clears throat> and then now I can see all their stats their enchants legendaries talents and things like that alrighty so another really good website to use is murloc.io what's really cool about murloc.io is that it does all the pooling of all those characters for you so Instead of me pulling up four to five characters and then having to sift through it and compare, the Merlock IO does that for you. So I would click on DK. I go Frost. Awesome. Then I go RBGs. Then I come down here. I can see all the top DKs on EU, you know, US, all the other servers as well. I come down here. It shows me what most of these DKs are running for their stat priority. The majority of them are running verse first. Of course, because you're PvP, and then they're sack and mastery. So when I'm going over to the vendor and I'm looking at all the stats, I want to make sure I'm getting the mastery pieces on the pieces I can. Alrighty. So you come down here, you can see what legendary they're using. Almost every single DK is using the you know absolute zero legendary. Alright, shows me what trinkets they're using. Shows me what gems they're using, enchants, the majority the, for each spot, chest, back, wrist, everything. I keep going down. It's going to show me their talents. The majority of them are taking, you know, this talent, then this one. You know, one person is taking this one. You know, nine people are taking this one. So it just shows you how many people are taking it. So most likely, it's probably the best talent. Then you get down to the PP talents, it does the same thing. It even shows covenants. So you can see what covenant people are using, what conduits people are using, everything. So all these things are super important when it comes to determining your character and improving your character to be able to optimize it for RBGs. I will say that not everyone is good at using all the talents. Even if it's the most optimal and you have already tried to learn what the most optimal talent is and you can't use it and you just really struggle, it's better to run a talent that you can actually get some use out of. So 
if you're struggling to use shadowy dual talent and you're not good at it and it's costing you more games and you're you winning with it because you're messing it up somehow then try something else if you put in the time to learn those talents though like shadowy dual um let's let me think of some other ones like the spell steal one for mage and just a couple there's a couple other big big talents out there that are super impactful and if you get really good at using them you can make a big impact on the game so there's a reason those talents are the most optimal but like i said if you're not good at using it you know maybe you should offer something else it'll make your climb a lot easier though if you do learn the best talents and how to use them in your game so not Every class has to use certain talents or legendaries or whatever it is. For example, if you go to Feral Druid right here, there's me, third Feral Druid, number one US. I get down here, and there's a lot of Feral Druids running this one, but then there's also a lot of Feral Druids running this one. So, obviously, these are pretty close, and so it kind of lets your options, you know, teeter-totter and you can pick which one you want okay so when you get down here to talents you can see you know m most of them are running the same talents a couple are running rest of affinity so it just depends on your preference so not every class has to have certain talents or a certain legendary sometimes you have a little bit of room wiggle room and options and that just depends on preference so obviously if you play feral druid then you know, this between these two might be for preference or just might be for certain maps so that's just something to, to consider and to look at your class and see what other people are running. You want to make sure you get a good census of what where everybody is and w try to think of the reason why they are running those talents. Uh, stats, for the most part, aren't going to be the same though. You're going to want to maximize your stats and get the best stats for your throughput. And it's going to be verse and then whatever your secondary best stat is. So a few classes need haste or crit thresholds to make their spec work. And to find out that, you would need to go to your class Discord and look up the PvP or PvE side of things, and you'll look up to see what those thresholds are. So, I know like Frost Mage wants a certain percent crit before you start stacking haste, and you know just things like that. So, uh, it's not going to be for everyone. The this the stats are super important because it's going to allow you to optimize your throughput. And in return, that's what's going to allow you to have pressure in your game. It's going to allow you to live, allow you to obtain kills. And so you can play around with the talents and options to see what is going to fit you and your play style the best. So look at see what all these other people are doing. If they're all running the same legendary, there's probably a reason for it. So play around with that legendary and see if you like it and see if it works for you. If everybody's running one legendary, that legendary is probably going to work for you. If it's split between a couple of different legendaries or a couple of different talents, then obviously play with play with each one and figure out what's going to be best for you and your playstyle and your goals in that match. You may change it depending on what map you're on. If you're defending a node, you may need a more defensive legendary or defensive talents. If you're assaulting or killing FC, you may go for more aggressive talents. It just depends on what your goals are. Um, I hope this video helps on optimizing your character so you can get it ready to perform the most throughput and having the strongest talents to help you with your kit in the RBG setting. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash and I hope everyone has a good day. Now go get some CR.